welcome back. In this video, we wanna show you a part two update of our project that we have going on at home. So as you can see, we've had the cement poured here in the front, um, all, the way around, all the way to the back, which we'll show you in a little bit. You can see that the fence has been installed and we went uh, with the metal sheet fence. We plan on eventually asking the city, uh, getting a permit so that we can extend our driveway all the way out to the curb um, on the street. But this is something that we're just gonna have to do later on. We didn't originally plan on it. So if you remember on part one, we were only going to replace our driveway and then start extending off to the side all the way to the back but it seemed cheaper and a good opportunity to go ahead and extend it all the way out so now we have twice as big of a driveway once we extend the entrance to to the street that'll make it really easy to just pull pull in and go all the drive all the way to the back as we walk back there, if you notice, the cement looks different colors, different shades. We had big storm yesterday with a lot of rain, and so it's still really wet out here. Also part of the reason why our front yard looks so bad. So for the fence, we did install a motor on it. That way we it's easier for us just to open and, and close it. So we're going to go ahead and show you what that looks like, as well as showing you the shed that we've already put in the back. We had two options for the type of motor um, that we could use. We opted for the LiftMaster, which has a better reputation uh, and a longer warranty, although it did cost us a little bit more. And we also added a man door here so that we don't have to open the gate every time we need to go out. As you can see, you, you see the driveway, you see our new fence. Uh, we went with the white with the black trim so that it matches the house. And I just love those colors. So in total, we ended up pouring over 5,000 square feet of cement, which includes all of the extra that we did in the front. Plus we did do a bit of an extension around our back porch. So in total, we could park up to 32 vehicles on all of our cement. That's not counting what we could park on the street in the event that we ever needed to do that. Behind the fence, we could park up to 21 cars which would be out of sight of our neighbors. Just mentioning that kind of for reference on how big the space is. We currently own 18 cars. And of those 18 cars, we have two parked out in the front right now. One of which is going to leave on a trip at 8 p.m. today. And then the other one is scheduled for Saturday. So as you can see, you could have 20 cars, but wouldn't need more than three or four parking spaces if your vehicles are priced right. Okay, so what's next? Now that we have the space, um, now that we have the cement all laid out, we are planning on building the 20 by 30 shop, which is gonna go right here along the end. We are planning on having two roll-up doors and one walk-in door. The quote that we got for the shop is about $10,000, and we're still working on getting quotes for the electricity and the plumbing. So once this, the shop and all of the bells and whistles are installed, we will let you know final price. As for the fence, we did keep the wood fence uh, back in back here. We do want to paint it white with a black pole so that it matches the rest of the fence. So that's what's next. Uh, we got to work on that. We got to get the shop. We got to get the plumbing and we got to get the electricity. Once the shop is up, we do want to add insulation and we're thinking of going with foam. Uh, so once it's up, we'll get some more quotes for that. And then also thinking of doing a carport that will extend to about here and then doing a car lift in there too. So we'll give you a little bit more updates as we get closer to our project completion so that you can get a rough estimate of, of what it's costing us. As for the cement, it cost us $32,000 uh, in total and the fence cost us $12,500. And then for the shed, we got the shed from Sam's Club. It was on sale and I think we paid roughly $1,300 for it. As you can tell, we still have a ton of work to do. Once we get the major things out of the way, we also want to focus on restoring our yard because it looks terrible after they pour all that dirt back on there. Uh, it needs a lot of restoration. And lastly, I'm gonna be out of the country for a couple of weeks. So James is gonna take over on doing a lot of the videos and updates for you guys. If you have any suggestions, if you have any questions, um, even, as, even as far as like what insulation we should go with, be sure to drop it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>